Bob Yoder, Extension Educator with Marshall County, and uh, we're just looking at a tree to see potentially if a girdling root is impacting one side of the tree. Uh, typically these roots are started when we plant a landscape tree too deep, uh, where there's advantageous roots come out of the, the trunk due to the deep planting, and sometimes they grow in a fashion where they don't grow straight out but beside the tree or involved in burlap trees or container trees where we don't properly loosen up the roots of the tree when we plant them. So they're already growing in a circular direction instead of stay straight out. So before we plant any tree, we'll make sure that we loosen the roots and even cut through the roots uh, sometimes to make sure the roots will grow away from the tree and not around the base of the tree. And the third reason that causes this is when people landscape around trees with hard structures and then put in a, a potting soil or just regular soil to create a raised bed to plant uh, flowers and other plants into. And when that happens, again, by burying the trunk of the tree with that soil, you create a, a advantageous root to grow out of the trunk but when it grows out, even if it's growing straight out, it'll hit that hard structural, curl back and become a root that can entwine around the base of the tree. Initially, these roots usually aren't up the side of the tree, but as the, the trunk of the tree grows out and the root grows larger itself, they grow together and eventually that starts cutting off nutrient flow into the main trunk of the tree, impacting the health of the tree and if it's too severe of a situation, it can even terminate the tree's lifespan uh, significantly due to that root uh, cutting off nutrient flow into a, a, a tree itself. Uh, so we'll check out this girdling. See, this is a girdling root. So we're going to dig back and see what we have here. You can see on this side of the tree, we have nice root flare where the base of the tree is coming out. Uh, and is not going straight into the soil. Uh, so this root flare tells me that we've got a nice healthy root system coming out of this uh, uh, large uh, maple tree. So I'm not concerned. Even back here you can see this root on top of the surface coming straight out. So that's a good indication we have a healthy root system around this side of the tree. So this tree is uh, set up good for uh, having a healthy root system. We have to remember a root system of a tree tends to sprawl out uh, a long ways or away from the trunk. In fact, if you lay down a tree, that's an indication how far the root system can spread away from the tree itself. But on this side of the tree, instead of having a nice root flare coming out on this side of the tree, what I'm seeing is more of a flat uh, surface of the tree. Uh, without a nice root coming out in this direction. And then I'm seeing this root here that's growing up beside the tree. Uh, so we're going to dig back and just see uh, what that uh, root looks like and see if it could be impacting this side of the tree ability to be getting nutrients into the tree. girdling root compared to some roots that can threaten the life of the tree. So we do have this root that's growing 
impacting uh, this root that's growing out from the main root that's going below it. Uh, so it's not, they're going to grow together and that can be an issue. And then this root over time will continue to expand and be growing into the side of the tree. So as you look at the health of the tree, the tree hasn't been impacted by this root yet. Uh, so that's good news. Caught it early. Uh, this tree is well leafed out to the top and we'll show you an image of that later. But uh, we'll go ahead and remove this root uh, and uh, won't impact the health of the tree. It's not a major root. But over time this root could grow to a size where it's impacting the side of the tree. So good news, it's not as bad as I thought it could be. And that's when we like to find a root that could impact the health of the tree, particularly on one side. So the point is, you can see how this root is already growing in and impacting uh, the root. It's a, a larger root supporting the tree by growing into it. You can see where the root below it is already starting to shift. How is growing trying to grow around the obstruction which is actually just a root that's attached to this tree.
thing with this root was it's growing right on top of a major root, uh, opening it up uh, to where it, it could be damaging it. And then the other root was positioned that over time it could grow into the side of the tree, limiting the health of the base of the trunk on this side as they grew together because it was a sizable root position here to as it grew is going to start growing into that side down the road. But this is a healthy tree. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have a lot of the issues that shows associated with managing goat girdling roots. Uh, where we cut off the roots, obviously that wood is just going to be dying because we cut the connection within that trunk, just how we would remove a vine from a tree. And uh, we didn't expose any of the healthy trunk tissue in the process of removing the girdling roots. Uh, in a more severe situation, the problem is a lot of the roots are coming out in multiple areas. When we do practices that encourages advantageous roots, and the challenge there is trying to weed through all the roots, determining which ones need to be removed and which ones should remain. So that is a bigger project, and I don't have a film long enough <laughs> to do a, a major project like that and record it. But this one was a pretty simple situation by removing these roots here. We're not going to have roots growing into the side of the tree, and that's what you want to look for. Whenever you see a tree that looks like a utility post in the ground, you want to be digging back the soil and make sure there's not girdling roots involved. And that would be more of a se severe case. We can look at this base of this tree and see even it's healthy, fairly healthy on this side. And the health of this overall tree, what you want to do to check health of the trees is look at the top. And the top of this tree, if you just look up into the canopy, there's some branches that are actually on this side that need to be pruned out that are dead. But if you go on up to the canopy to the top, it's still leafed out clear to the top, indicating that overall health of this tree is still pretty solid. This is what happens we call stag hoarding. When a tree's really under a lot of stress, they'll start dying at the top down. So my concern with this tree was the dead branches on this side of the tree and noting that there was a girdling root associated with the tree, so at least we leave, I'll leave this one stress. Victor A.